Today I'm going to walk you through how to automate a GTO Pro automatic gate opener. Uh, this is a GTO 1000 series. This is uh, approximately 20 years old, but uh, works great. Some of these old openers uh, uh, have been very reliable, very dependable. The uh, actuator configuration on the gate you can see here uh, is, uh, is one of the older actuators, but still works and still works great. So this has been integrated into our smart home and uh, the automation. Uh, we still include a standard remote. This is the transmit receiver here for the remote that comes to this uh, GTO model. And uh, we're powered by, uh, by one of the wall transformers in an outlet in the garage that comes out here and it sends 18 volts AC to, to this unit. So, uh, so let's get started. Basically, the, uh, the inside of this unit, the control board, which you can see here, has, uh, has our power on the left-hand side, and then uh, the wiring that goes out to the actuator is here in this second set of terminations. And then in this set of terminations here to, uh, to the far side is where I've integrated the smart things. Uh, to be able to have this gate turn on, open and close, uh, based on the smart thing system, and even integrated it into uh, Alexa. Uh, so, on this particular model, you can see the terminals there are the what they call out as green and white. Uh, that's where you put a relay dry contact, and anytime that contact closes and uh, toggles, it sends a signal to go ahead and actuate the gate. Uh, so it's as simple as that. Dry contact integration into that green and white termination there. Uh, and the unit I've, I've got here is a very small one. It's a Zeus, Z-O-O-Z, -O -O multi-relay module. Uh, the information will be down in the description of the video on how to get this module, model number, and all of the information will be there. So really all I've done is uh, I've taken those two wires, as we mentioned, the dry contact from the relay, tied them into the existing termination board here. And then the only other connection I have is to power. And on this unit, we've got a power that can vary between, uh, I believe, 20, 24 down to 12 volts. But interestingly enough, it takes both AC or DC. So in this particular instance, I've tied that into the battery of this GTO module. Uh, I, I first tried to tie into the 18 volts supplying this board, and it was too much current to get this to operate reliably. So I've since went to the battery and it's worked fine uh, with no issues. So, uh, so that's the main integration there. Very nice setup, very reliable. Uh, and then here in a minute, I'll show you, I'll show you how this thing works uh, from remote access.